piece poem is called Temple Bar, July 2019. That means I wrote it two years ago, so you know, you'd think I would have learned it. Um, it's a companion piece to another theatre piece that I wrote um, called The Temple is Closed. And it's about a time when I lived in Temple Bar where this theatre sits. And it's about how Temple Bar was a fallen down bus station that was regenerated by artists. And a little bit about that story in about now. And this is, yeah, Temple Bar 2019. The guests in my gaff say the city is losing its soul. In an effort not to be a bad host, a worse host. Think. I tried to offer them something savoury because it sounds like something the missus would say. I've been reduced to adjusting the temperature dial on the oven with a needle nose pliers. It does be too hot to be having the hob on anyway. And again, the window not open. I can't open it. And it's closed, because the cat, the white cat, has a Steve McQueen escape plan that makes me feel she has a death wish to rush to the cobbled streets of Temple Bar, tree floors, sideways. Who oh, and the city might land on their feet. But I don't want to test the theory. Polite guests try to jimmy up the pain and smoke out the window, shut that. Doesn't close all the way, but lets in enough city centre monoxide to damage them's four pain sash. They cost a bomb like 2k cash each for fixing. The grumpy builder said he can't get parking, so shit's not worth it. So I matured in a black mould cheese in the corners of me kitchen and the dark tobacco marked recesses of me alveoli. It's all in bits. All because the Georgian Society won't let me take a hammer to the four panel sash. I'm on the phone to get the get go. Go on, let me give it a good bashing. The landlord won't fix anything. I won't pay. A legislative Mexican standoff in a rent pressure cooker zone. This was all once a neighborhood of art. Artists are a beggar class, used as unwitting agents in the regeneration without remuneration. We taught ourselves agent provocateurs, but we were just developers, double agents of Lord, haw haws, he haws, gentrification, these small one bed gaffs. We're all designed as garrets for artists who are being displaced from former derelicts, bombed out husks, that artisans had brought back from the brink and made viable artists, writers, anarchists, feminists, queer radicals. But somehow, the apartments all wound up in the hands of publicans and hoteliers. This, I feel, is an analogy for our turbulent path towards independence and our free state of mind. Same old story. Ad infinitum, Irish style, executive class, cute hooerism from the wink and the nod from the who that you knew to the how did you know that they were going on the market at that time to get your soldiers a destiny flat foot and mouth in the door. You see, it all starts with art, then ends in real estate. It's August 2019 and the communists and the socialists sit on me sitting around Florida and discuss taking back the city. That was then though, year gone, dreams gone, UDA men in ballys on the steps of a faded Victorian flank with their own guardians of the peace, all agents of the wrecked on the racked renting landlords. They'll give you all the liberalism you want to beat the band, but if you challenge property, they'll crack the bats. And the band will beat the drum, the drum of property rights rhythm like a snare made out of your own bleeding skin. You're nearly there, a guest tells me. The idea is sound, but the, uh, the theory is left wanting. Have you read I Stop the Young Covey before he unleashes a whole state of chassis? Listen, that ash. 
It's going to bore me couch. And the missus is going to bore me and you. The Covey doesn't care. Not for such material things. He's a communist. Not an internet communist. Look, a card communist. Card carrying communist. That's not alliteration for the crack either. There's an actual red, not under me bed, but kicking back on me couch, resting his feet on me poof, or still trying to figure out why they showed up for water but not raised the roof. A young social worker with spit and fire saying, the time to mobilise is now. She'll change things. Someday. Because she cares. Deeply. Like really cares. Not like that slacktivist, hacktivist. She's in the trenches knee deep and she'll bring us back from this because she knows that Ireland is really just a load of old angry men screaming at fierce young women like who? These chats about the demise of our city. We're all involved that last summer before Dublin became a cadaver. I think that's one of them uh, mixed metaphors. But then again, this isn't really a poem. So if you're still paying attention, don't get too bent out of shape. It's more about the flow than the form. That might it's the skin of the old guy, but for the new ones, it's just a norm. And in the cities, you know, we can hear it, we can feel it. In the temple, one of them last buskers that they banned sets up on a parlic column. Cultural anthropologist type where the pen is taken down his poem of kids spitting bars and songs of the current and the culture. The kids keening in the street singing with that. She moved through the fair, warbling, feeling, playing on the heartstrings like a tenement, doubling, doubling, rare old times, doubling with the years and the feeling, and they're all still reeling. Somebody thankfully forgot to tell this tune for it to stop dreaming and Dublin, I know that you're not dead yet. Dublin, I know that you are not dead yet. The dealers, I his spot with the raised brow and a looking, you looking, you looking, you looking, you looking, look a biggie, where's the loop out there? Get your loop taken away from you. Citizens become the Detroiters from the cultural sanitization, and the rest of us give that side-eyed view to those that think that this is a positive revelation. I got a Facebook message from a DJ and a magazine editor about coming together to do something, so... Well, I'll let you all know how that works out. And what happens. Diggers level our culture, not for a playing field of equals, but hotels. Block T, the Flea, Hanger, the Tivoli, the Bennett Shaw. You see, that for some was the last straw, but then they just moved to the north side, so it seemed all right. Free marketeers berated people that it wasn't the Louvre. And for leftists, it wasn't a lightning rod that they taught, but it was something. I remember 500 people coming together for poets, DJs, comics, bands, and that's not nothing. Me flat guests say it's useless and they should know they're militants. And they have the marks, the bruises, the badges. It's not market fatalism, but battered and collared to sales and sorcery for trying to take back the city and occupying a derelict for our Brazilian comrades. But there's a feeling of temporal displacement. That gavel-headed mystic on the couch tells you that it's just another parallel ball. You're all clear. There will always be an 8th district. And Dublin, yet yeah, I know that you are not dead yet. The artists in me phone, they want to strategize, collect the voice. Don't be wearing poppies, never cross a picket and just union noise. In the face of those that want to strive to individualize and atomize your community, your life and your soul. Because collectives terrify them. They want dorm rooms with bunk mates, not housemates and bag of fiver rates, 30 heads to one kitchen and one pot to put the rent that's for extra because they will let you have nothing for free. This is anatomy to the posh boy that thinks 30 to a room is funky. It's metropolis, but are you running in the garden or are you a walker in a lift going down? Never mind Fritz, we need to be getting a little bit more battleship Potemkin. Collectively, collective action, traction, that doesn't work with the lesson stance. Don't be sheep, the old girl will tell you that rhyme is cheap. Don't get it twisted, it wouldn't get me knickers in a state. This shit's not really poetry, it's more like acoustic hip hop. We're just too broke and fucking lazy to buy an 808. 
They'll put up student accommodation instead of public homes against which they seem to be dead set. I'll get rid of the screens, the smartphones, and I'll get all the books on my shelf read. Yeah, but if you want to get a burner, they'll all think that you're part of that inner city gangster north, inner city no good set in Dublin. Listen and know that you're not dead yet. A single cormorant at base of crane faces south to dry its wings in our sun, not a care, not a fire, towering in that toxic sump that pumps money and the souls to feed a lopsided tea that seems to obscure our memories of 2003, lifting up developers' dreams and making those uneasy underneath as the chains groan and they sway. And if a strong wind passes through, it will all come crashing down again on everyone that's at the bottom this day. And Dublin, I know that you are not dead yet. For that art to grow, it needs space, it needs room. Pleading with councils not to snuff out that spark. We need a return to the commons and a space for people to live openly. Wide streets commission for the art because the decisions ahead of us are stark. We can create our own kind of, I suppose, cultural art because Dublin, I know that you're not dead yet and I promise to make myself drink more water, take longer walks, I'll get rid of all them screens, the phones, and someday I will be part of that well red set. And Dublin, I know that you are not dead yet. Dublin, I know that you're not dead yet. Dublin, I know that you are not dead yet. Dublin.